So hello guys, welcome to another video from Androidica and this will be an interesting one. So in this video we will be learning how to actually use say your PC or your laptop's broadband connection in your Android. As you would see that my internet is not running over here so I am not using any mobile data connection. Neither is my Wi-Fi on. So I guess you can't see Wi-Fi from there. So you see my Wi-Fi is not on, my mobile data is not on. So I am not really using any type of internet connection right now on my Android device. I am just using the Samsung Galaxy Mini but you can always use any other phone and follow the same procedures. All you need to have would be that your phone should be rooted and you should have a super user application. Okay, so you should have the super user application and after you have done the first time you would see a new application getting installed which is called the USB tunnel. So it takes up a little, very little amount of space around 724 KB so that shouldn't be an issue. So. To get started all you need to do is head over to my blog you know like the link will be down below in the dis video description down below so okay so after from there you need all you need to do is go down that post and download that stuff like reverse tethering for android version 3.1.4 make sure you already have your phone's drivers installed in your pc if you don't you can always download the usb driver that's it this is a universal driver so Okay, after you have installed, downloaded and this zip file, you would get a file called this Android Reverse Tethering. So, okay, let's just open up Tethering. Okay, that would be a zip file that I downloaded. So, there would be Android Tool. So, that would be Android Tool.exe. So, you double click on that and it opens up this stuff. So, all you need to do is now, you know, get your phone up, connect your USB cable as I have over here, enable Android debugging. So, to Android debug, uh, enable Android debugging, all you need to go do is go to settings, go down, head over to developer options, and head down and check that box. You see, Android debugging, Android Android debug mode, ADB interface on USB and on the network. Okay, so you need to yeah check that box and if you don't have developer options in your ROM all you need to do is go to about phone and head down and held on this build number one or couple of times till you see that you are now a developer no need you are now a developer so after you have done that all you need to do is like place down your phone up your USB should be connected to the computer and then you click connect okay so it will say stuff like that over here okay, let's scroll it down so it says that check your android and accept super user request if now needed so okay i'll just bring up the phone over here as you can see my usb tunnel is already running over there pull it down okay i see usb tunnel check to enter config panel so as you can see I didn't accept any super user request or it didn't ask me to accept any super user request that is because I already did this process of one time before so and I chose this option like allow it forever like remember this choice forever so if you are the first time using this process you would have to accept the super user request once so and you can just click on check and you know remember this choice forever so that it removes remembers the choice forever so that you don't have to go through the hassles of like accepting the connections every time so now you can see you have TCP connection 2 and some other connection 0 so okay so let's test it out and open the browser okay so as you can see the page is loading out which means that now this phone is definitely connected to the internet there you go bingo and let's say open up something else there and open up YouTube so as you can see since I'm having a fast broadband connection on my PC I can really like browse internet way too fast on my mobile right now using the broadband connection so things load up really fast so that's how you would you know connect your PC's internet on your mobile using a simple tethering tool 
and it's that easy all you need to have is the a rooted android phone and it can be any version it can be even stock roms it would work on all stock roms and custom roms all you need to have is root there's also a process for non rooted users but it's tough and it's complex so i won't really show it over here as i have a rooted phone and i don't have a root unrooted device right now so to like get disconnected all you need to do is click on the disconnect button as you will see over here so you click on disconnect over there and you'll be disconnected so you can like repeat this process anytime and get fast you know super fast internet on your mobile say like for downloading applications and downloading big files and movies and stuff right onto your phone so thank you for watching and if this video helped you definitely like this video it helps us a lot and subscribe us for more tips and tutorials like this and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Peace.